Jordan, that's a much happier dressing room than last weekend. Yeah, obviously so. Um, you know, I think last weekend we, we probably let ourselves down to a certain extent. Um, you know, we didn't get a grip of the referee at half time. Um, I thought we learned the lessons pretty well. You know, tonight we went out and, and it was a close game at half time. We came out, um, we played some good football and we made the adjustments that we needed to. Um, even in saying that, you know, Scarlets are a quality side and good enough to get 27 25 ahead with, with 20 to go. Um, the thing I was most impressed with, but you know, our senior leaders and some of the guys out there just really took the game by the scruff of the neck and, and really raised their intensity. And you know, I don't think Scarlets could live with us at the end of the game. That was a really European feel to it as well tonight at Wilford Road. There was a, a physicality, but a bit of uh, I want to say stardust as well with the way some of the guys were playing out the back. I looked at some real Jordan Murphy play out the back there from the, the outside backs. I don't know about that. They held on to the ball, so I don't think it had anything to do with me. Uh, no, it's massive. Europe is huge. I was really excited. We trained here last night and under the lights, and you know it just feels like one of the best stadiums in the world. And, and I was hopeful. I said in the week, you know, it was really hopeful that we could get a, a vocal crowd, and, and we got that. You know, I think you know it took them a while to get started, but as soon as those small partisan Scarlets fans got going, I, th I thought the crowd were great, and, and um, the atmosphere was brilliant, and the players responded. And, and you know, I think it's probably hand in glove that the, that the players on the field, you know, ramped up the performance. The fans were appreciative of it, and that's that's life. Is that the best performance from Dan Cole this season? The scrum has an absolute rock. Yeah, I think so. I think I think you know Boris Stankovic deserves a lot of praise and a lot of credit because those boys have done a really good job and Dan Cole's played a lot of minutes for us, but he's backed it up and backed it up. And Dan doesn't say a lot, but he uh, said a lot by his actions tonight. <laughs> Will Spencer, Graham Kitchener as well, added a lot to the line out. You could say it was much better working tonight. Yeah, well, I think those two bodies obviously are very, very big men, very comfortable in the line out. I thought Harry Wells has been epic for us over the last few weeks and Mike Williams moved from the second row to the back row, giving us some options in around there and, and you know certainly an area that we can improve on. Um, but yeah, it was good to have some bodies back and some selection headaches as opposed to uh, just picking anyone who's fit. The new Welshman, Jonah Holmes, as well at the back, and you've also backed some other young guys uh, in recent weeks. They didn't disappoint when they came on as well. No, you know, Jonah had a great game. Um, he made a couple of mistakes, but the thing with you know, Jonah is, you know, he hasn't played a huge amount of fullback for us in, in the last while, so, you know, it's a bit of a learning curve. He can do it. He's played there before, and, and, and uh, you know, he's tidying up all those areas of his game, and, and the more game time he gets, the better he'll get there as well. Some of those young guys did a really good job. I thought Tommy Rafael again off the bench tonight as a, as a 19 year old playing against his a uh, <laughs> countryman did a great job. And um, yeah, you know, Jake Kerr, it's first start for Conor Gugginia, um, first starts for the club in Europe. It's a big ask, but they did a great job. Bit of an injury update. Brendan O'Connor and Tom Youngs obviously both didn't play. Is that long term major? Uh, hopefully not too major. Uh, Tommy had a really bad infection in his eye and I couldn't see, so it was a last minute call, but it was. Um, yeah, it was difficult. He would have been very disappointed to miss out on it, and obviously we missed him. Um, and Brendan O'Connor has a, a slight crack in his hand, and hopefully shouldn't keep him out too much uh, time, a um, few weeks, and, and hopefully he'll be back by the time the Premiership starts. Yeah, a lot of boys selected for international rugby, but George Ford in particular has been on fire in recent months. Oh, again, he's he's been great for us. You know, since uh, since I've uh, been here, he's been a, uh, an absolute legend of a bloke, great player, and, and uh, he's uh, he's doing a great job. So yeah, I hope he goes well for England. Finally, what do you do now? Obviously, Premiership Cup. Uh, is someone else going to take the head coach reins there? Yeah, Brett Deacon's going to run the run the Premiership Cup um, with Anthony Allen supporting. I'm going to be around coaching whatever they need me to do. I'm taking orders from the boys. Um, you know, I think the Premiership Cup for me as a coach was an invaluable learning experience. Um, I was very lucky. Some of the coaches who I, I've worked for, you know, gave me the opportunity to coach and lead on it. And, and um, I, I don't think there's any experience quite like that. Um, so you know, I've I've been in the trenches for a few weeks now and I think you know give those boys the opportunity let them run it and, and um, as I said I'll be around the squad and, and helping out wherever I can um, but I uh, yeah let those guys they um, cut their teeth. You took the job on a uh, very short notice do you take this three weeks as a bit of a period to do a little bit of I guess planning and, and processing of what you want to do? Yeah I think so I think that was kind of always my goal to get to this end of this block and, and you know if I was still in, in charge to a uh, put some uh, plans in place you know to go forward and um, get the goldfish ball off my head. Thanks, Mike.